It's RV inspection day. We are back in Tampa, Florida. And today we are going to inspect this 2017 Fleetwood Discovery LXE 40E. So stick around because at lunchtime, we're gonna give you a recap. And at the end of the day, we're gonna tell you everything we found on this unit. So lunchtime, we will recap what we've done so far, but I wanna state first. Uh, you northerners, this is a jacket. And in Florida, when it's 54 degrees in the morning, that is cold. So now let's go back to business. Fluid sample done. This customer wanted to have the fluid sample right away. So what I did, I came in, there's already a couple of things that I did. I did do my roof, which was impeccable. It was kind of surprising. Those fiberglass roof are nice, but I actually pulled out um, oil sample and transmission sample and I had to drive since we're in Dover so uh, not too far from Tampa I drove about 15 minutes to go drop at a laboratory to have my fluid sample done by tomorrow because uh, we're Thursday by the time if I mailed it in it takes two or three days weekend Thanksgiving's coming so it would have taken God knows how long so so that'll be a quick fix we'll know that by tomorrow so I lost time on this one so I'm a little bit behind so that was the big thing that we did here, but also the first thing I did when we came in was those tires. So those tires are actually 2016. So well, we'll show you on this one because it's kind of obvious on this one, but uh, this is the kind of uh, weathered tire that we have. You can see how bad it is. I mean, see this one is a 0216, so we can see the date here of manufacturing. So that's the second week of 2016 so that gives you an idea every tire we can read the time frame on it so they are due they are done and the six of them are like this so right now i'm going to be chasing my tail uh, all afternoon because i'm way behind um propane leak test and all that stuff so now let's go see what lowell has inside so it's lunchtime, so time to let you know what we have found so far. So we've been in here since about 9.30 this morning. I've been doing the inside, as you all know, and this is the first coach that by noon, I have nothing to tell you. Actually, I do. I do have one thing to tell you. Just as you went over there, this little piece right here is loose and it was actually sitting on this little tabletop. So that's gonna have to be fixed. This is the televator for the um, TV and there's a little uh, cover for a light switch that we'll be putting on right here. So I lied by saying that I hadn't found anything, nothing major. I've gone through the cupboards. The cupboards look great. Everything's pristine. There's no dust in there. I've done the microwave and that's working. I've done the refrigerator and I've uh, yet to do a load of dishes soon this afternoon, but let's talk about the sofa. So typically this unit comes with an actual sofa, pulls out into a bed and it wraps around and it extends out here into the living room. The people that own this, obviously took that out and they put in this dual recliner, which has a nice place to charge your cell phones here flips up. It has a beautiful storage area here below to put your remotes and anything else that you want to put in there, like your crochet or knitting needles, stuff like that, you know? So, um, let's see, then coming into the refrigerator, which is working properly. As we said, this is a 2017. So this is a used model. Uh, the woodwork is beautiful. I have not found any demarcations at this point. They have a half bath in here. All the water is running. We found it had been winterized, so we've been running the water to get that out. So I will be looking for leaks this afternoon, but I haven't done that yet. Coming into the master bedroom. The one thing this morning was Pierre wasn't able to get the slide out. He figured it out realized that the slide had to be in completely and it wasn't, and then the slide went back out. So that was a just a quick fix, not really anything that was uh, major. This is the master bathroom, which I have not done anything in there yet, except look into the cupboards, which look really nice. So I'll go into that more detail and I'll have more for you at the end of the day. Again, that light is on again. So yes, it's that time of day did finished 
about everything. As you can see, there's those nice uh, floor light coming out. Uh, propane test, you see that spigot right there? That was done, that passed the test. I got hot skin, that was A-OK. -okay. Lol, you're good. It was one volt at the end of the day. So if it would have been more, I would have probably told her earlier. So I'm kind of flabbergasted a little bit. Because this unit, I can tell, hasn't been maintained okay when i pulled in here this morning i knew it says oh my god this is a farmer's it was put i, I showed lol I, I would pull a, a oh, the back compartment and i'm thinking oh bird poop up there um all kind of stuff you can see that it wasn't maintained the outside i'm sorry sir if you see this whoever was the owner i don't know where but uh, a little bit of rust underneath, but you can see that the outside wasn't, it's one of them that goes in, takes a ride and parks it there and never tends to it. Compared to what we've been seeing inside, which was kind of immaculate. So it's kind of Mutt and Jeff. It's two different coaches. It was scary when I pulled in here this morning. I thought, eh, we'll be here for a couple of hours. Something major is going to happen. So we got lucky. Um, nothing special that I can think of, that I can see. Propane. No, and even the ceiling. I was amazed to see how, kudos to Fleetwood. I mean, six years old, been on the road for about 23,000 miles. So it's been rattled. There should be loose stuff, loose ends here. Except for the battery that are not that nice. Again, see, we should have shown the battery because just to show you how it's not maintained. Okay, come with me. So hey guys, if you like our videos, we would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. You don't know what to comment. Just put the letter C, 4, B, O. Comment for Blue Ox. C, 4, B, O. That's all you got to do. Put that in the comment section. So that's my point. It's, it's, it's the idea you give to people about your rig says a lot about your personality. Again, sir, whoever had it, it's disappointing when you see stuff like this the minute you walk in and you see that corrosion and no maintenance it's uh, like i say it gives you a good idea of who the people are so who they have and and even the inside the cupboards you know the dirt everywhere inside the doors and that that shows the personality i hope you're not one of them but hey can happen so you can see here those are the old one look at these these are brand new. I'll bet you when he sold this, he traded this in. It probably didn't even start because it was stuck in the back of the barn. So that's about it. I mean, I was just in Laurel this morning. See, for me, it's my eye. That's what I see. So just look at that white hose. Well, it was white. Could you believe it was white one day? So that's my point. The minute I walk into a unit, I do a quick glimpse and I try to size the personality of the person. This says a lot of who it was so right there it gives me idea of what to search for what to look for because they're not people who maintain their stuff like you know pristine nice clean i'm not saying to go overboard but i'm just saying here's the inside i understand you trade that in so you don't really care but on the other side it was worse than that so it's all those inside door everything that's that's to each their own we all have a level of appreciation of whatever we have that we like to do but that was my big pet peeve is always how clean the unit is gives a lot on your personality you the seller you don't care but if you want to impress your buyer you better have something clean so it shows that you, yeah you're right we can't take somebody and make them be a one all of a sudden that won't happen you're right so so that's my story and i'm sticking to it so let's go see what lol found inside so it's the end of the day, and I'm going to recap what happened inside. Not a lot. This is amazing. I'm really quite impressed. 2017, this has been maintained inside. I think these guys use this as a little vacation home here and there. Um, so I've gone this afternoon, I have done a load of laundry. I've gone through the wash, the dryer, the dishwasher. Everything is working, nothing's leaking. The only thing we found was that there's no hot water. So something's wrong with a hot water heater. And also we have a smoke detector that is not, they're all needing to be changed anyways, but one that absolutely is not working at all whatsoever. But there's no 
uh, rips and tears in the furniture. The ceilings are beautiful. All the lights are working. Bed is a tilt-a-bed. That tilt-a-lift, which is awesome, that works. The slide, the floors are perfect, immaculate, as you can see. Yes, there is a little bit carpet on each side, but honestly, it's been well-maintained. So, so I've gone through the emergency windows. All the windows are working. All of the day shades, the night shades. I don't even know if they've ever put the shades down. They look brand new. All the TVs are working, so that's perfect. Uh, other than that, we had one radio that I checked outside of the coach. That is not working. So just a few minor things. So remember, and do never forget, it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey.